feels good to come here again. It's been so long since I last came here. I can't wait to see what my friends and family are up to. Hey, wait a second. Isn't that my sibling? What are they... Well, here's my stop. Let me go see them and say hi. Hey, Squirt. Did you miss me? What am I doing here? Today's the day I'm visiting since it's summer break. I thought I should surprise you guys since it's been so long. Here, let me give you a big hug. Mm. So... Where's mom and dad? I thought they were here with you. Oh, they're busy with work so they couldn't make it. Well, no worries. We can surprise them when they get home. I guess right now it'll be the two of us and we can have some quality time together. So Squirt, what's with the backpack of yours? Is school not done yet for you? Oh, I see. Okay, well, we don't have to talk about it. Let's go somewhere fun. Where would you like to go? You can't decide, huh? Well, might I suggest something fun instead? How about we go to the park and get some ice cream? And don't worry, it'll be on me. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here since it's a bit crowded. Two ice creams, please. Thank you. Here you go. Your favorite flavor. <laughs> Naturally, I wouldn't forget the sprinkles on top. And hey, that's my favorite toppings of all. So, eat up, okay? Yeah, I remember eating ice cream when we were little kids. You complain about how I got the bigger scoop than yours, but mom said that she didn't want to give you too much because you'll get a tummy ache. So I gave you a little bit of mine, and your face lit up that you get to have some more. Hey, are you okay? You sound sad. Well, your ice cream looks abandoned. You kept staring at it, but not eating it, and... From the tone of your voice, it doesn't sound happy as I would like it. Is something bothering you? Okay, then I want to know why you have tickets tucked in your backpack. And don't try to hide it because they're literally sticking out from the zipper. And I kept telling you to close your back all the way. But I guess this is the one time I could appreciate your mistake. Tell me what's really going on or I'll call mom and dad, saying that I bumped into you. Hey, come back here. Where do you think you're going? Gotcha. Whoa, easy there. You're not careful where you're going. No, I will not let you go until you tell me what's going on. This wasn't like you. The last time I visited you and the rest of our family, you were okay. What happened while I was gone? You have to tell me, please, for your big sister. You had a big fight with our parents because you were struggling with school, but you were doing so well when you told me. I see. So there has been some situation that came up. And it's taking over your life and it's affecting your study. Well, have you told our parents about the issue? They wouldn't understand. Why do you assume? <sighs> they said that you should be more like me. How I'm respectful and studious. I guess their wording might have hurt your feelings. Is that why you decided to leave because you couldn't find a way to tell them? 
Squirt, let me tell you something. I was not perfect back then because I've made so many mistakes in my life. And, funny you should know, but I was rebellious when I was your age. Of course I was. There were times where I had to fight with our parents because they wouldn't let me get a job while I was studying, or how I'm flunking on a specific subject because I didn't like how one teacher was giving me a hard time. But every time when this happens, our parents would have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, and they had to give me a little tough love just to keep me moving. And that bit of tough love worked, and I had everything together. The point is that I'm sure no matter the problem you have, they'll help you as much as they can. Just because they're older, it doesn't mean they don't understand. Parents are there to help you out, and if our parents weren't able to, then it would be unfortunate, but remember you have me. I know, it's not easy when your older sister is away, but I'll be just a phone call away if you need help. For instance, if you need some advice, I'll gladly help. But right now, you have to face your problems head on. It's scary, I know. But you have to try. But I will tell you that our parents can help you. Sure, there might be some scolding, but they'll give you advice just like what I'm doing right now. You're still scared, huh? Well, don't be. Like I said, if they're unable to help you, I can help you as well. But for now, give our parents a chance. That's what they're there for. And as soon as you go talk to them, everything will be okay somehow. They love you, Squirt. How do I know? Um... Well... It looks like our mom is calling you on your cell phone. Do you want to go ahead and pick it up? Ah, you want me to pick it up. All right, no problem. Hey, mom? Yeah, they're with me. I bumped into them, actually, and I wanted to see if they're doing okay. Yeah, they're doing okay, so everything's all right. Say, are you guys home from work? Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll be on our way home soon. I was going to give you a surprise that I'm done with finals and that I'm on my summer break, so we'll see you guys later, okay? Great. Love you, Mom. They'll be home in a few hours, but Mom said that they're going to have a little chat with you. For now, let's enjoy our ice creams. They're probably melting by now. <laughs> And when we're done, we'll go home and prepare a special dinner for them. I think this will help ease the tension if we do something special, okay? Alright, let's finish up our ice cream and go home together. <laughs>